Hi, I'm David Ingram, Extension Plant Pathologist with Mississippi State University, and today on Gardening Through the Seasons, I want to talk about the most common disease of roses in the southeastern United States. And that disease would be called black spot of rose. Black spot is a fungal disease that primarily affects the foliage of the rose, resulting in extensive defoliation, as you can see on the outer limbs of this plant are almost completely defoliated. Um, the disease is easily recognizable by homeowners by the black spots that we see on the leaves. Many times there is yellowing that is associated around the outside of the black spot. Now the interesting thing about black spot of rose is that the lesions are not really smooth along the edges. They sort of have a little finger-like projections that come out. We call that a fringed margin. As these lesions on this leaf enlarge and grow together, eventually this leaf will defoliate and of course fall off the plant. Um, what this does to the plant in repeated years of infection is it reduces the vigor of the individual canes and ultimately reduces the number of uh, blooms and the quality and the size of the blooms that will be on the rose bush. The black spot disease begins early in the spring as new growth is emerging on the plant. Basically what we find is that the leaves that have fallen off of the plant the prior growing season onto the mulch or the soil surface contain spores of the fungus in the lesions from that previous season. As we begin to get spring rains, these spores that are down on the mulch or the soil surface in these older leaves are splashed onto the lower leaves of the rose bush. New infections are started, and then each time there is a successive rainfall event, the fungus and the disease slowly moves upward on the plant Ultimately, we'll, we will experience, or the plant will experience, uh, the extensive defoliation that I described earlier. For the management of black spot of rose, we recommend an integrated pest management approach. Integrated pest management is using several uh, methods all at the same time. For black spot on rose, we have the methods of sanitation, cultural practices, and chemical control. The most important of these is to begin with sanitation. And that is basically removing all of the old disease leaves that have defoliated off of the plant the previous growing season because those leaves are the source of the spores that will begin the new infections the following spring. In some cases, we even recommend that the old mulch be removed as well because there may be some leaves that have been left from uh, a couple of years ago uh, growing seasons that still have the capability to um, produce spores and result in uh, infections of the plant. And then the recommendation is to come back in with a new layer of mulch with the idea that uh, at least we would cover up any of those older leaves that we did not remove and by doing that we would we could prevent um, those spores on those leaves from being having the spores rain splashed up onto the uh, lower part of the plant and then starting new infections in the springtime of the year. The second part of our integrated pest management program in managing black spot of rose deals with the cultural practice of watering. What we recommend is that the plants be watered down on the soil surface and around the base of the plant. Not on the uh, upper foliage with sprinkler irrigation, wands and this sort of thing because all that does is spreads the spores with the splashing droplets from the irrigation water increasing the amount of disease that we see on the plant. The last part of our integrated pest management uh, control of black spot of rose involves chemical control. There are at least 15 or 20 products that are out there on the market labeled for management of black spot of rose. The key in using the chemical control methods is that the applications of the fungicides 
need to be made on a calendar basis basically every 7 to 10 or 7 to 14 days. And then we want to make sure that we get very thorough coverage of the foliage, especially the new growth, because that is the foliage that is not infected and we're putting protectant fungicides on there to prevent those infections from occurring. That will allow us to have uh, thrifty, vigorous rose plants throughout the growing season. By following the procedures outlined here today, you should be able to have the most beautiful roses all through the growing season. I'm David Ingram, and this has been Gardening Through the Seasons.